Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L. Let me show you guys where I find kids mo most often have more plaque and in turn get the most cavities. So I have been seeing a lot of kids lately and I find the most common spot is right at the front here. So I use this little guy to show kids how to brush properly because this spot I would say is number one where I see cavities the most in kids, you know, age two, three, you know, four or more. I would say age two and three and four is the most common here. As we get older, as the kids get older, um, it's more commonly on the chewing surfaces on the back teeth. And that's because their first year molars start to come in age six. And those are their permanent teeth but they're not used to having teeth back there. So they're kind of not sure how to brush properly. So make sure to show them to get all the way in the back and don't just simply do this and then that's it. They have to spend some time brushing those teeth, okay? It's really important. And at that age, um, it's a good idea to have the mom or dad help them brush their teeth. If they don't let you, then have them brush first and then you brush afterwards. You could always tell them you want to make their teeth nice and shiny, okay? So you could even say that you have a special toothpaste to make their teeth shiny that only you can use on their teeth. So just pick a toothpaste, you know. That, <coughs> I'm sorry, that seems to help them, okay? Just let them know that you do have to get in there afterwards. Even if you you think your, your kid loves to brush their teeth, they might only be doing this you know you just never know they need to get in there to really make sure to get all areas now up here as i said think about the lip being in the way so typically when kids brush they just kind of do you know this right they just kind of do this but that lip is covering this area right there so you may have to ha have to help them or tell them to move their lip up like that to actually get in there to remove that plaque because plaque sticks there so easily and cavities form so quickly that I see it in kids all the time. And age two, I mean, think about it. If they get a cavity here, having them sit still for the dentist is impossible, right? It's impossible. So to have them fix those teeth the dentist will likely want to put them to sleep to do that work. And that's not always necessary. But what I can do is I can put a little um, liquid over those cavities to actually kill them, to actually kill those cavities. So sorry, that's not a very nice word, but it does. It does kill those cavities and then it makes this surface nice and hard once again. But the only downfall is it does turn those areas black. So I don't like doing it for the front teeth because it does turn those teeth black. I can cover them up with a tooth cup, um, a, um, a tooth colored filling material um, that I use specifically for kids. So it literally takes like a minute. Um, so not a long time, but it does take a minute and they don't need a needle, but it's not perfect. So it's just a thin covering that can go over it. It does make the black look less black, but it's not perfect. But it does help to um, banish those cavities so they don't have to be put under to get the needle um, to have that cavity with a high speed handpiece drill come out. So it is a lot less invasive. Kids like me a lot more because it's so easy. But again, it does turn those areas black. So to avoid any of that, just make sure to help them brush really, really well. And another thing that I like to offer too got this little guy here, is toothpaste, specifically for kids, um, even age two, that does not contain any fluoride. Is that the English version? Sorry, guys. Does not contain any fluoride. Check that out, you guys. But it does, as it says, helps to prevent cavities. So I have these all the time. If I come to see you 
to your house. I, I have tons of these. So let me know. They are only $11 each, I believe. Yeah, $11 each. That's it. But they are amazing. It comes in mint and bubble gum. And, and adults can use it too, which is kind of nice, right? But it is um, specific for kids because it does not contain any fluoride. So many different ways to help to prevent those cavities. Um, and I like to see kids starting at age two because I can always put a coating over the teeth to also help help to prevent cavities because prevention is the best thing to do because once they get cavities, they do have to get those cavities taken out. So it's, just, so it's always better to prevent things because we don't want those cavities to get worse because it depends on when a child is going to lose those teeth. If it's a couple years, then you do have to fix those cavities because they will get worse. If it's a couple months, you likely don't have to fix them because the tooth will just come out anyway, but it's just nice to give them a good experience all around. So as I said, it's common. Um, I see more, more plaque here, which leads to cavities and those back teeth um right on the tops okay so make sure they are are they are able to brush those areas really really well back there you will probably have to obviously help them um but especially i find here okay so i hope that helped you guys let me know if any questions if you need some toothpaste let me know because i just ordered a bunch in because i did not order enough last time i've been seeing a lot of kids lately but just keep in mind, if you do all of that, they do not have to get the needle. They do not have to be put to sleep to get any work done because kids are kids. They will be anxious going to the dentist. So sometimes it is easier to just put them to sleep, do all the work, but it's unnecessary. In most cases, if we can catch the cavities early enough or not have them at all. So let me know you guys if any questions. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very, very soon.